to sing on the record. He promised us, he gave us the word. And you see what he did now. He turned around his speed because for money. After the press conference, we will release a press kit to all of you, which will include one piece of paper, a photocopy of a letter which was sent prior to the Grammys to Frank Farian, and a copy of this letter was addressed to Mr. Clive Davis. Mr. Clive Davis knew a lot of advance in, uh, before the Grammys. What is here the case? If it's needed, maybe one day we can also prove that even earlier, the record company, not only here in America, that the old record company executives all over the world knew about what kind of game was here played. Felt? <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Yeah. It was. It was like I. I will ex describe it like this. You get something, but for that you make a pact with the devil. It was. It was really like we felt like we did something because we reached something, and we've seen then that we got some money, that we flew around, that we lived in sheds. But on the other side, with every time, there was every time something on it. There was every time something that we had to lie. We had very guilty complexes, we had very problems. We were many times alone in hotel rooms, somewhere around the world doing promotion when no, they were not our friends, there were nobody, and we really felt bad about it. We feel really, really, really sorry about our fans, that we really love our fans, we like our fans, we love to be on stage, we are well performers, but we just hope that they understand that we are young, that we were young, that we just wanted to live the life the American way. Well, what kind of message does that tell your fans? Which message do you want to tell them? That it's okay to have a with the devil? So, okay sorry, I don't understand you. Not? Could you stand up, please? Well, Could you stand up? Thank you very much. You say you really care about your friends, but you... Uh, friends, fans. How about our fans? But you've allowed yourself to be seduced by Of course. Fans. Yeah, so you're absolutely happen? right. I was seduced. I was... I, I'm, I'm, we said we did, we did one wrong move. September 88, where we had no money, where we wanted to get up, that we that a big guy with a lot of money seduced us. I give you right, and we will tell people don't don't seduce you. But on another side, I have to tell you, if I wouldn't have, if Robin Fat wouldn't have it done at this time, we were still in our project, we were still eating, <laughs> uh, we would, would still go to the supermarket and and steal some food. You, you Okay, excuse me. There are more questions. There are more questions in a couple of minutes. Robert, let's talk. So I tell the young, I tell the young kids, I tell the young kids, stay away from drugs. Get a good lawyer if you want to go into the industry. Save all your money. Save, wash cars, work at McDonald's, and get your money to buy a lawyer. Because I didn't have a lawyer at the start. I didn't have a manager at the start. I couldn't afford it. Why I did? First, because I got a check, and I never had a check in my hand before. No, I didn't say. I, I, I didn't know. No, I didn't say that it's okay. I, I think if I wouldn't have done it, I would still live in a project. It's not okay, but you can choice project. You can choice project as a black guy. You can choice project or fame. And if people are there who seduce you for this, then it's a crime, maybe. And I say, I did something wrong, but I say not that our fans should do this or everybody who want to get up. This was a very special situation. We came from Germany. In Germany, there's no protection for artists. There's not a lawyer that you just can hire for, for $200. You have so to understand, we were seduced, we were abused, and we felt very guilty. But we are here, Robert Fab is here, because we stopped it. Not Frank Farron, like you guys think. We stopped the whole thing. We said to Frank Farron, if you don't let us sing on the album, we don't do this anymore. We don't want to live like this. We don't want to be embarrassed every night by our senior hall, who knew about, who, who, knew, who knew about. Of course, you. you know what I mean. We, we didn't want to go to clubs and every girl say, hey, you don't sing on the record. We wanted to stop. And that's why we said to Frank, if you don't let us sing, we won't do it. So he released the second album again. 
So then I told my lawyers, forbid, forbid the album. So we forbid it the second album, and that, and then, then he tried. Specific, to... Sorry, the second album is already finished, and as you maybe have uh, written in some press statements of Arista Records, this album will get released in January '91 with voices. We will name the voices in a couple of seconds, but first we should talk about the Grammy and about the situation, how we see the city Grammy situation. Well, excuse me, excuse me. Let, let's talk about. Let, let's. Can we, can, can, excuse me, please hold one second. Robert likes to say something. Yeah, right over here. Yeah. We're singing the chorus, okay? Stay down, Beret. Sit down. Okay. Yeah, I just try to give you guys an answer. I, I give you an answer. I learned in school not to interrupt my teacher. So, so you so you have to find a solution. Okay. I think you should go with this tape. We give you each a tape. You can take it to a scientist. But you can why don't you demonstrate now? Okay, I demonstrate it. Fuck it. That's I do it. Like this mics are fucked, you know, you guys. One, two, one, two. Girl, you know it's true. Ooh, 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 I love you. I'm in love with you, girl, cause you're on my mind. And you're the one I think about most every time. And when you crack a smile and everything you do. So we give this Grammy back now, Grammy back now to the record academy and we recommend our buddies who did the real voices who got seduced like us in Germany Brooke, uh, Brad Howell and Sean Davis are the real singers and I think they should get they should get this Grammy. What's their name? What's their name? Brad, Brad? Mr. Mr. Brad Howell, I'll give you the spelling B-R-A-D last name H-O-W-E-L-L -L, and Johnny Davis, Johnny like Johnny and Davis like Davis, both living in Germany and both are at the... Uh, then you know. How, How do you, you feel about the fans' backlash against you? Backlash? You, yeah. Can you repeat your question, please? How do you feel about the fans' backlash, you know, running over your records, returning them? Yeah, I, understand, I really understand them. Understand I have to say them. I understand them. Uh, Millie for Millie... The question, the question my friend was asking was, are you going to give any of the money that you got through your contract to those who actually did the singing? No, you didn't understand me. They got already money. I know. They have already a house in Munich, and it, uh, so they don't need two, I think. Your girlfriend, do you have a new name? What? Why, why do you think I said this? Who, who told you that? So, so, yeah, what, what, yes. How many interviews? Do, how many interviews you you, uh, you, raw, uh, you read and you know that it's not true? What's in the interviews? How many you think in the American interview? Maybe you will also understand when you are such, under such pressure, when you are no, under such exactly. psychological you really pressure. Really sometimes you, you sometimes you. Are, uh, you guys are really being picked on, and now they say that not even your hair is real. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? That's a good... Being black artists, why do you have any more black on your management team? Do you think... Because I have a... Do you think that the Europeans on the outside of you have caused you to be ripped off and forced you into this mode? I've noticed that there's been a lot of other blacks that have been ripped off and I don't know right. if that's part of Right, but, but it looks like... But, but it looks like we, we, we have to eat the, the soup by ourselves. No. And the people who really were involved, like Arista, like Frank, they still have a lot of more money than us. 
and, and, and they'll find out. But I want to give you an answer to the question why, why, don't, why we don't have black people in the management. Sit down. <laughs> we have. We have where black people. And were they with you when you had to do this sign? No, first, I came from Germany. First, I know I never had a manager, I never had a producer, I just had one white, in this case, white German producer. Then I managed to go by myself, three months ago was a big disaster for our career. Then we decided to take American management. Boss, the bakery of the last year, two years, yeah. is money. You're it's not. This is fake. No, we no wanted... other reason. That's the only pressure that Fabian put, put on you was financial pressure. No, no, you no. Said no. You are set for being, uh, do, you li do you live in a project? Yeah, Did you yeah. live in a project? Did you, you listen? No, let, uh, we, we lived in a project. We had no money. We wanted to be stars. We, we think we are talented. We have fun with that. What we're doing. We love to be on stage. That's our first aim. It wasn't money. If we wouldn't have accept that at the start. We knew we would be still in Munich. I would still work at the McDonald's. Your talent would get Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, gentlemen.